Hello, this is Bloodstorm, and welcome to another Minecraft video inside of my fantastic world. Today, in this video, uh, I am building a new shop. Uh, what was it? It was a, a light shop I am building in this episode. Uh, yep, yeah, today I'm all by myself uh, in this episode. Uh, in the last episode, we went on a heist, uh, me and JJ Bear. Uh, we got my, uh, my shulker box back. Uh, we've also got a bunch of stuff here just in case, uh, just in case we need it. Uh, don't know, don't know when we'll need it, but at some point we probably will. Uh, right, let's go get my breakfast and let's go collect a dog. And you know what? Uh, where's Larry? Uh, is he here? Larry, Larry, there you are, Larry. You can stand up and Gerald, move out the way. Gerald, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go in here and just pick out a pork chop. Uh, there you go, Larry. You can have a pork chop and you can follow me. Uh, JJ Bear's camel is still here, by the way. Oh, also, uh, I need to add someone to the, the shout-out section. There we go. This is where I'll put the, the shout-out book for now. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a little chest here. Don't know why I've got a chest here. Just in case. Uh, why do I have a chest here, anyway? I don't know. Uh, but a person I'm adding today... Uh, oh, no, it's just here is I haven't got my glasses on because they're broken. Adequate craft. And the reason why I have added adequate craft, uh, oh, this is probably a bit too late, like, as of recording, uh, it's uh, a good time to add in. But when this video is released, it's probably going to be a little, a little too late to add in. But the reason why is because uh, he had uh, created an SMP called Lords and Legends SMP. And he was nice enough to invite me to join that SMP. And that is the reason why I've added adequate craft to my uh, shout-out section. Uh, he will be uh, moved over to... Um, well, everyone in that book will be moved back over to the original shout-out garden. Uh, but yeah, at some point, uh, I'm going to be doing videos on that SMP. Uh, you'll have to wait and see what I do in it. Uh, not going to give too much away. Uh, right, let's sit in this minecart and then I can head over to the new town. And uh, today, uh, have I got Larry? Where's Larry? Oh, Larry will teleport. Um, but, uh, oh, there's Larry. Is that Larry? Yes, it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, today me and Larry are here. Uh, well, I say me and Larry. Larry's just going to be watching. I am here to build a light shop. So, I haven't got a light shop over at my old town. So, I just thought... Well, anyway, I can't go over there anymore, can I? Uh, but I just decided, why not build a light shop? So, uh, we're going to uh, place blue all the way in the corners just here. And actually, is this the right uh, block? I haven't got my glasses on, so you're going to have to bear with me for now. Uh, oh, no, we need copper. So, I'm going to place a copper here. And it's going to go one, two, three, four up. And we're going to go... 13 back so it's once again a 13 by 13 uh shop so yep four up like this and then i need to go another uh 13 all the way to this uh is this a it's a poppy i thought it was a rose but uh no they've got rose bushes in the game that's why i got a bit confused uh but yeah we're going to be going up to all of these uh poppies uh this is just to mark out all of the corners um because um <laughs> Knowing me, I'm probably going to forget. Oh no, has this already started oxidising? Anyway, it's supposed to be oxidising, but... Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to. I mean, I didn't re originally intend it to oxidise, but... Oh well, we'll let it change. And then, uh, we're going to have black uh, concrete. Oh. Not all of it's going to be black concrete. So, I'm going to break three away here. And then three away like that. And I'll explain why in a minute. So we're going to do... Oh, so we're going to have a doorway going just here. Black concrete going like this. And then we're going to have blue going along the top. And then it's going to be the same along here going down. And I've also just realised this actually looks like one of my old mini games uh, in my old Fantastic World. Uh... Darkness, that's the name of the mini game in my old fantastic world. It was when you're in a dark maze and there's an amethyst floor and then there's someone hunting you down. 
and it was to see who can last the longest. But the amethyst was on the floor, so you can hear where the other players were. Uh, wasn't really a good use for amethyst, but it was a new block at the time, so I had to use it. So <laughs> I did what I did, and I used it. So uh, let me explain what's going to go here. So this is the tricky part. So I need observers and a redstone lamp. What's an easy way of doing this? I guess I can just build out of wood, just going like this for now. So, let me explain. So, uh, I got this little idea from uh, Stampy's, uh, what is it? Uh, his casino. Uh, basically, there's going to be observers along here. And then I will break that wood away. But there's going to be observers behind the redstone lamps. And then, oh, these do not go there. Uh, these are going to go on the top like that. And when it's daytime and nighttime, it's going to send a little uh, trail of water going down. So there's going to be a piston which blocks it from uh, going down. And oh, I've just realised. Might as well break this part away. Because I'm going to need to, um, uh, yeah, place the observers. But yeah. When it's daytime and night time, it's going to send off a little piston with a daylight sensor. And then that is going to uh, send the water down. And then it's going to activate the observers, which will light up the redstone lamps. And I thought it was fitting for this. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm giving credit to him for uh, the idea. So, let's collect uh, all of this wood. And then let's mark out uh, where... The walls are going to go, and this is the part I was dreading. I'm going to hate this part. Or should I do the roof, actually? Because I need to add in the daylight sensor up there. So I might as well do the roof quickly. So uh, let me get my scaffolding out. And let's see, what is the roof? So this is the part which I am dreading. But, oh well, my fault uh, for doing it like this. So I'm going to do this going like that. There we go. And then I need a crafting table, which I can place just here. Uh, so I need uh, cut copper, I believe. Is that it? Yep. And then this is going to go and get turned into some slabs. This is going to be brought all the way along to this corner. Like that. Uh, oh, let's just break this part away. And then, oh, that's in the wrong place. And then this is going to be brought around. Oh, God, so I keep. This is why I need glasses. Uh, yeah, my glasses have broke, so I'm going to be a bit blind uh, <laughs> when building this. So, oh, uh, yeah, you're going to have to bear with me on that. So, okay, I can start building the black concrete part here. So, there's going to be. Uh, let's just do this little ring here, and then I can go back up and finish off the roof. So it does this going along the entire outside. And then in the middle here is where the piston's going to be. So I need to get a daylight sensor going just at the top there. And you will see this, but I don't mind if you see it. Uh, you will see the piston as well, but oh well. Uh, I should have thought about that, but I don't mind. Uh, so this needs to be turned to that one I think yep and then I need to get a piston so uh, oh yeah I do have pistons these are gonna get placed just underneath here right this is the part I am dreading how am I gonna be able to do this so right let me get a water bucket so I've got four water buckets in my inventory uh, I'm gonna fill up all of these buckets very quickly uh, because I'm gonna need this for the whole redstone lights to work. I am not looking forward to this. Uh, oh yeah, the name of the shop. Uh, I haven't got a name for it, uh, a proper name. So for now, I'm calling it Be Bright until I can come up with a better name for it. And it's not the best name, uh, but it is what it is. Right, so this is going to go like this. Right, this is when I fail. So I need... Do these go here? Let me check the screenshots. I haven't. I have to go to spectator in my design world for this. So, oh, this needs to go in one more. 
like this. And oh yeah, then we need another one which will go here. Oh no. Hmm. How have I done this? So I haven't got a clear screenshot of this uh on my uh images. So hmm. So that piston's in the right place, so then I need how have I done this? Oh, I see what I've done. Okay, so that was in the right place, but I need... Oh, wait, no, this needs to go down one. There we go. And then I need to get a piston like this. This does still work. Um, and then I need to get this going round like that. There we go. Right, so if I fill in... Both of that going like this. And then if I reach up here, if I can. Okay, that works. That works. And then I've got to do the exact same on the other side. And I can uh, block that off like that. There we go. And then, right, I've got to do the same over here. So, time to watch me struggle. Uh, actually, no, let me do it from memory. So, I had um, cut copper going like this on the bottom one and I had this like that oh let me get this blue concrete going around there so it doesn't spill everywhere like this and like this there we go and then I need black concrete going along like that and I believe uh, that is it so obviously uh, well yeah I still haven't fixed the reason why it's still daytime as well so obviously I'll have to wait till it's night time, but let's go up here and test it out. So, there we go. That works. I like it. And obviously, not my idea how uh, this was done. So, yeah, I, I did get this from YouTube, this little uh, light idea. But I like it. I like it. So, oh, I haven't got uh, any wood to fill in the path. So, uh, let's just fill it in with copper for now. I'll fill it in with spruce afterwards. So, oh... And then I need to fill in all of this like that. There we go. And, okay, let's go back onto the roof. And let's finish off this roof. So, uh, next screenshot, I need to go here. So, okay. Let me get my copper back out. And then place this just... Oh, that is in the... Oh no, it needs to go on this corner. Oh, that's why I got a little confused then. Right, so that needs to go like that. Let me just quickly replace this. And then, yep, it goes along like this. And then, oh, I need to make some more uh, slabs. So yeah, it's going to go up around like that. So what I will do is speed up the video because it is a bit repetitive along here. So uh, let me speed up the video until I have uh, finished the roof and then we're going to do one final decoration which is on the top of it. Okay so I have uh, done the main part of the roof. Uh, we're just doing the final part of the ceiling. <gasps> oh, oh, I thought I ran out for a second. There we go. Got the right amount of tinted glass. Hmm. So, what's this next part I'm going to have to do? Okay, so I need to go down to this chest. I had a chest here in case my helpers join. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of extra spare stuff uh, that I did not need to collect. So, the final thing I'm going to do is build a huge torch because uh, so far it doesn't really look like a light shop. Just so just so people know it's a light shop, I'm going to build uh, a massive uh, torch. And oh no, I got the wrong wood. Uh, didn't mean to do that. So, how high does it go? That's the, the one thing I need to check. I haven't got my glasses on, so let me just check my phone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 15 high, so I need to go, oh, I won't count this as 15. This is just going to be the little base part of it, um, like this. So, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, there we go. And this is going to go all the way up to the top. So once again, uh, I'll speed up the video until I have uh, built all of this up to the top. Okay, so now that I have built this up to the top, uh, I'm going to fill this in. Actually, should I add a torch? Uh, just so I know mob spawn. Just in case, I'll add a torch just inside there. And right, the next thing I need to do is the flame. So on the design, it doesn't look that good. So I'm just going to go, uh, I'm going to change it a bit. So I want to make it look like an actual flame. So... I want to do some yellow going here, and then I'll do some yellow in the corner. And then this is going to go all the way up to there. Does that look good? No, I don't really like the look of that. So let's bring some of this to here. And, uh, okay, that definitely looks better than the design I had. So, no, I want the, the torch to be, actually, should I? Let's bring it to about there. There we go. And then I can add a campfire on the top and it's like a little smoke on top of a torch. So there we go. Uh, oh, I haven't got an easy way of getting down. Can I land on the scaffolding? Oh. <gasps> I did it. I landed on the scaffolding. Okay. Uh, wasn't really a good uh, uh, surprise from me. I mean, I was actually surprised I landed on it, but... I didn't sound that shocked when I landed on it. Uh, oh, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, you know what? For now, I'll fill all of this in, uh, just so you can't see it. Uh, but there we go. That is going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, I'll probably come back here with another helper and finish off the inside of my Be Bright Light shop. Uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. Larry, you can stand up. Thank you for joining me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.